MCG Tanji, and welcome to Kababayan today. Today is a very, very special show because we pay tribute to a man that was gone too soon. Enzo Pastor was a promising Filipino racer with accolades in the international racing circuit, and he was brutally murdered a year ago in the Philippines. So we celebrate and pay tribute to his life, a Filipino na maipagmamalaki natin sa buong mundo. Joining us on Kababayan today are his family, his siblings, kasama natin si Samantha Pastor Yalung, Carlo Pastor, Bonita Pastor Moncal, and Don Pastor. Enzo's story is indeed heart-wrenching, so I suggest parental guidance as we will be discussing his murder and how until today, justice for their brother Enzo has yet to be served. Thank you so much for being here. Mga ate, kuya, bonita, Don. It's hard to talk about this, but all of you are together today. Why? Ate Sam, why are you here today? Seek justice. It's been a year, Kuya Carlo. Yeah. Has the pain diminished? No, not for me. Or not for all of us, of course. So, not yet. No. Okay, so let's give a backgrounder. Sino ba si Enzo? Bonita, tell us, who is Enzo Pastor? Enzo was born after me, before, before Dawn. Mm -hmm. He was... He was a special person. He was unique. Mm -hmm. One of a kind, yeah. And so, I mean, his characteristics from the very beginning, he's so loving, so passionate, the way he speaks to someone. Mm -hmm. He can't just talk to you na without sense. He is a person um, who lives up to action with purpose. Okay, Don. Yeah. Enzo, what's your kuya? Yeah, he was my the closest uh, brother between me and Enzo. Talk about your kuya. Uh, he was um he was a personal guy. Uh, he always shined in in the racetrack. Uh, even if he had like you know a couple people around him, he would just reach out to the guy selling water and just talk about a normal day. How's your day going? He's like a very personal guy, so. Okay, so let's talk about your family. Lahat po kayo ipinanganak sa Pilipinas. Except for me. Except for you. Okay, yeah. so dito ka na pinanganak. Mm -hmm. uh, both your parents are mm -hmm. Filipino. Yes. You grew yes. up in the Philippines, came to Glendale, California, migrated mm -hmm. all together, and Enzo went back to the Philippines and then came back here. Right. So. Uh, the true kababayan, kumbaga, di ba? Right. Pinalaki doon, dumating dito, bumalik doon, fill up talaga kayong lahat. Mm -hmm. And I want to know, when was the last time each of you saw your brother? Ate San. <laughs> when did you last see your brother? Many years ago. Um, and we didn't leave in good... You didn't leave in good terms. Yes. Nag away pa kayo? Yes. yes. Okay, so you be resolved yung. Yes. Kaya siguro mas masakit ano? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when was the last time you saw your younger brother? For me, I go home once or twice a year, so. Because you're, you're based in San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But I, I go home to visit family and, and so forth. But. Um, that year, that year, um, a couple months prior to the incident. Okay, because uh, you've always gone to all of his races, is this correct? Most, most, yeah. Even to the uh, ones in Europe and, and all around Asia yeah. also. So you can say na talagang yeah. kuyang kuya ka kay Enzo. Yeah, yeah, Both definitely. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ikaw naman, Bonita, when was the last time you saw your brother? You huling nakita ka si Enzo. You can read. I can really feel that he knew it was the last time because he drove me to work every day for one week. We would read the Bible together, and he would say, "Oh, it's so cold here in the states." You know, he couldn't wait to go home to his sons, and he left um, to receive his award in Charlotte um, for his NASCAR race. It was about 5 a.m. in the morning. They had to catch a flight from Burbank to Charlotte, and I was still sleeping, but but I ran downstairs, and I hugged him really tight. Um, that was the last time. 
he visited us um, right before Christmas and I said, come on, stay, send the boys here for Christmas. No, I promised them, you know, um, I, I have to be with them. And he was just really concerned about them all the time. So. Okay, so to give a backgrounder of what happened, when we return, pag-uusapan natin kung ano ba talaga nangyari kay Enzo at bakit hanggang ngayon hindi pa, wala pang hustisya para sa kanilang kapatid. We'll be right back here on Kababayan Today. Thank you for joining us here on Kababayan Today. We pay tribute to Enzo Pastor and joining us here on the show are his siblings. Uh, I highly suggest kung meron pong mga bata na nanonood, uh, please make sure na baka hindi na nila kailangan uh, mapanood ito no kasi pag-uusapan po natin kung paano po namatay ang kanilang kapatid so let's talk about this i know it's very difficult to talk about the murder of your brother but i want to know where were you when you found out that your brother passed away sam where were you I was at home it was morning and my dad called me and it was just it was unreal then I called my brothers. So you were the first one to receive the call from my parents. Yeah. And you had the difficult task of ter telling everybody else. Yeah. That, yeah. It's like you just want to, it's a joke. You just want to say it's a joke, but it's really, yeah. You better call dad. Something happened to Enzo. I can't even, you can't even say that to your brother. You can't voice it. You just send them off to my dad to say it because I can't say it. Even today, I can't accept it. Ikaw, Kuya Carlo, where were you? So, On my way to work. So, tumawag ka sa tatay mo? Also, yeah. Uh, just to pull on together because we live near each other. So, you know, um, it was more of like a rush to get to Manila to find out mm -hmm. what happened. Mm -hmm. Ano ba sabi ng tatay mo sa, sa inyo? Kasi when the murder happened, yeah. explain to us what happened. Well, I mean, as far as the act Yes, at, at, at the time, at the time when you found out. Alam ko medyo graphic, no? But he was on his way. Oh, so he was on his way from his home sa Magallanes on the way to Clark, the, the racetrack in okay. Clark. So pulling one of the race cars behind him, tapos on the way there, he on a stoplight, supposedly uh, a tandem motorcycle um, came to him and then one man went down and then started opening fire, shooting him as well as yung boy na kasama niya, yung helper. Yeah. Binaril siya? Binaril talaga siya. Like, on, in the head, multiple, I think it was 13 times. Yes. 13 bullets. What time yeah. did this happen? Roughly about 10 p.m., a little after 10 p.m. in Manila. Okay. Yeah. And this was in Quezon City by the time. Okay. Yeah, that they caught up to him. But Quezon I think, Avenue. Oh, Quezon Avenue. Okay, but Quezon. however, nahuli yung gunman. Nahuli. No. Nahuli. Nahuli. Okay, so let's talk about that, Bonita. Mm -hmm. Nung nahuli yung gunman, Yes. How many months after? It was a few day, a few weeks after the 40th day of Enzo. He was caught in a separate um, incident, um, and then they that questioned him. To guns. That was related to guns and drugs. And drugs. Yeah. He confessed that he is in fact the gunman in the Enzo Pastor um, murder case, and he brought this up because when he shot Enzo, he didn't even know who Enzo was. And then it blew up in the news, and he was shocked that Enzo Pala is a known person. Not just a known person, but someone representing the country. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So he was shocked, so he felt compelled to confess. Okay. Don, nung nalaman mo yung confession ng gunman, ano yung confession ng gunman? Na, siya yung bumalo sa kuya ko. It was kind of hard to take that. I couldn't believe that he was gone, but when I heard it from the gunman and it was his face, I just wanted to fly there and do terrible things, but you know, I know God has greater plans and that's why it probably happened, so. So, nung sinabi ng gunman na siya nga yung pumatay sa kapatid nyo, what other confessions came out? Bonita, he he also included how he was connected to Sandy de Guzman, 
And, and who is Sandy de Guzman? Sandy de Guzman is the, um, I wasn't sure at that point, former boyfriend or alleged boyfriend of Dahlia. And who is Dahlia? Dahlia is our sister-in-law, widow of Enzo. Okay, wait, hold on. When you talk about the murder and you find out that the gunman confesses that the boyfriend, alleged boyfriend, and the widow of your brother is connected in this whole murder, how does that make you feel? We were shocked. We were really shocked because we, four of us flew home and we stood next to her. We took care of her. We okay, this is an unbelievable story, her. mga kababayan. It's hard to believe. Yes. It's very, very difficult to believe and to accept. And here we are a year later discussing this. It's very difficult to talk about. But justice has not been served. So when we return, we want to find out how can we as Kababayans help? Because Enzo gave so much of himself, not only to his family and his friends, but to the country. So para sa ating mga Kababayan, it's just right na in return, we seek for his justice. We'll talk about that when we return here on Kababayan today. Kababayan today, we're paying tribute to Enzo Pastor, isang Pilipino po na namatay a year ago. His family is here on the show to talk about why justice has not been served yet. Para pong teleserye, kasi parang nahuli yung pumatay sa, sa kapatid nila, pero yung confession ng sinabi ng pumatay, eh, kasagwat daw yung asawa nung namatay. So it's hard to believe, but I want to know, where is Dalia now? Where is the ex-wife? She yeah. has no idea. She's probably in hiding, I guess. She's hiding. She's been hiding. You know, the last moments when yung pumutok yung story, I was in contact with her. Okay, so obviously, kung wala ka namang kasalanan, bakit ka magtatago? Precisely. Yeah. Diba? Right. You know, you want to be able to answer these questions. And if you're a grieving widow, and someone says na ikaw may kasalanan kung bakit namatay yung asawa mo, kung hindi naman totoo yun, you will do everything you can to make sure that that is corrected. But this is not the case. Yeah. Right? Here's the biggest problem of all. Meron pong mga anak, si Dalia at si Enzo, dalawang batang lalaki. Mm -hmm. Where are these children now, Ate Sam? With her parents. Wait. Siya yung pinagbintangan na... Yung babae ang pinagbintangan kung bakit namatay yung kapatid niyo, tapos yung mga anak nandun sa bangulang niya? Mm -hmm. Bakit parang hindi tama to, Kuya? Hindi Kuya talaga. Carlo? In my views, talagang hindi tama. Dapat talaga, I mean, we would really want to have the kids, uh, you know, so that we can uh, treat them and, and, and look out for them like we did with Enzo, you know, raise them properly and... and Ilang taon na yung mga anak? I think right now, seven and ten. Seven and ten. They are yeah. very, very young. Yeah. Who's, I, I'm just bewildered at the fact that none of you have any contact with these children. None. Sadly, no. Not allowed to see them. More of deprived. We want to, but we can't. We can't see them. Why? Sino nagsasabing hindi pwede? Their parents. The parents of Dahlia. Are you in contact with the parents of Dahlia? No. no. They're evading us from yeah. from her contact. We'll the see. moment the uh, news came out regarding Dahlia, uh, we attempted to contact Dahlia. I attempted to contact Dahlia to give her the benefit of the doubt. You know, come on, come out, to say something. And ever since that moment, they they locked themselves out. Wala na, wala nang communication between the pastors and the guerreros. So there's an ongoing custody battle now for the children, but they are not respecting that. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's very difficult because all of you siblings, besides one sister, mm -hmm. Vanessa, is in the Philippines. Right. How does it feel that you're all the way here? Does it feel like you can't do anything? I mean, how does that... Don? We, just, we feel like we can't physically be there in the trial cases, but at the same time, if we could pull enough evidence or anything that we could help promote the, the trial case and come up with funding to yes. to push this this act then then that's what we're doing currently okay. yeah ito kasi yung problema lalo na sa Pilipinas at it's not nice to say but pag may pera ka sa Pilipinas pwede kang magpapatay ng tao yeah diba 
and that's not something to be proud of, obviously, about our country, mm. but there's something wrong with the justice system because obviously something like this it's clear as day that if the wife is behind this or the mastermind of this why are the children with her family then uh, bonita what can we do from here how can we help we have put up a website for enzo it's um justiceforenzopastor.com and there's a link there we are asking for donations specifically to aid the investigation, the trial for the legal fees. It's it's four cases against, you know, um, the gunman, the two masterminds, and the custody battle, and security. My parents' lives are in danger on a daily basis. You know, um, when you're when you're dealing with powerful people, um, it's not that easy. We, we desire for them to come here already and give it, give it a rest, but they are very adamant. We are all adamant for justice. A lot of people shy away from, from fighting against justice because mahira, mahal. Mahira, mahal. I want to know, are you hopeful? Honestly, it's getting frustrating. It's always been frustrating, but we try, we try. We want to do the legal way of doing things and go about it the correct way. As you said, it's a third world country and each and every one of us can act differently mm -hmm. about this and stoop down to the level, tiba. But we don't want to and we want to respect and give a shot to the Philippine government, but we're really honestly getting very frustrated. It's more frustrating since they're receiving death threats. Oh. Okay. I want to make a call to the Philippine government about this. This is a case that has gotten international media coverage. And nakakaya. Mm. Nakakaya na hanggang ngayon, di ba? Isang taon na po. You know, so this is a call to action for our kababayans. We want you to help us make this case solved. All right? So when we return, we will show you a video, a tribute to Enzo and how we can help um, the family and, of course, the children. We'll be right back. Hashtag remembering Enzo. Here's a tribute video for the man gone too soon.
We are remembering Enzo Pastor, a man who has brought so much pride to the Philippines. We celebrate his life and his legacy one year later after his brutal murder. Uh, we are with the siblings here on the show. Mahirap panoorin yun. I don't know Enzo personally, but looking at that video, you can see how how much joy he brought to people and what a good soul he was. So as we end the show, I'd like to ask for some last words. At the Sam, what would you like to share with our Kababayans? Um, I just want to let you know that my parents are fighting a very big, big battle against four cases and they're continuing, they continue to get, receive death threats and it's very hard for them. So your prayers and your support, anything that you can do to support our family. Thank you, Sam. Kuya Carlo. Um, the plan of pressing ngayon is to find Dalia. So, mga kababayan, we're all around the world. Uh, there's a kababayan in every country. So wherever she's hiding, Please step up and let us know where she is because we need to bring her home to face the trials for the murder of her husband. That's right. And let's uh, circulate this video para malaman ng lahat ng mga kababayan yung storya ni Enzo Pastor. Bonita. Our country is headed towards a good direction. We have we have a good supportive precedent right now. We have great agencies who are trying their best. But we need to come together. We need to do our part, mga kababayans, to support our country. Para naman, our justice system will soon be maayos na for not just us, for everyone in the future who have to endure this. Mahirap to pagdaanan. And we don't want this for anybody else. Pero we can do something about it right now. Please go to justiceforensopastor.com. Follow the news, the updates, and the link. John? Um. Uh, for those who d don't really know who Enzo was, um, he was he was someone that just wanted to raise our flag. Um, so even for that simple note, um, if he if we could all support this guy, you know you know, even if there wasn't much uh, support that he got from the government, it would be really compelling if we could all stand up together and come up with the funds to bring justice to the table. All right, maraming salamat po mga kababayan for watching us and watching this show. It's very important that we rally up together because justice needs to be served for our kababayan, Enzo Pastor. We celebrate him, his life and his legacy one year later. Maraming salamat po.